Happy New Year's, guys. It is January 6th, and I don't even know why I struggle to um, remember what the date is. Actually, it's January 7th because it is like 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I officially made it through today. Or yesterday. I guess yesterday. <laughs> The last five years, this day has always been hard. Or yesterday has always been hard. Whatever. Um, it's definitely getting better. Definitely still felt low today. However, uh, it's also the wrong time of the month. So it is my time to feel low and on that note, um, you know how the last few months I've been getting kind of like anxiety attacks and really low um, at this time of the month. I did find that the B vitamin is definitely working. I did not have really an episode before my period or just as it started. Um, yes, I am feeling a little bit lower today and I have actually felt I had actually more energy today the last two days I've literally been exhausted um, to the point that I was so scattered brain yesterday I actually wasn't sure if I would go into work today um, but yes I feeling a lot better obviously today always has a trigger for me um, I tried so hard to rewrite it with Disney and yeah just having stuff other stuff on this day but no matter what it was weird I had a photo come up of my brothers kissing me on the cheek um, 16 years ago and it was really weird because I actually was like wow to think that it would have been um, 16 years um, makes me feel really old to think that I could actually have been married for that long. Um, yeah, this year and last year I've managed to forget. Not forget, but not remember till later on throughout the day and only through a photo that it was Kristen and Rubin's um, anniversary. So that's always good because I think that's the start of me um, probably healing that little bit more as well considering that is the day that we met um, 18 years ago uh, yeah so today was a hard day and I've <sighs> yesterday I ended up ruining my washing machine I now need to buy a new washing machine because Washing machines that have locks on them do not like me and this one didn't have a lock that turns off after a few minutes like some locks has. It stayed on and I figured out by looking through the manual that I had to click this little red slot that was on it and pull it. But I put it up instead of pulling it down because it was late and I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, anyway, I've messed up my washing machine and now I need to fork out mm, anywhere between five and a thousand dollars for a new washing machine. I screwed up, but you know, it's the day, so I knew something, you know, you know something's gonna wrong because this day just is not my day. <laughs> um, and then I went to get a washing machine and Costco was sold out washing machines and the other two places oh in New Zealand everything closes when it's not Christmas and there's no late hours everything closes at like six or seven o'clock like it's ridiculous like their their late night is a Thursday and then they're back to like six o'clock on a Friday and it's Saturday and a Sunday and quite often those days I remember less hours like I don't think I will ever get used to that 
in New Zealand. I mean, I know it's a quieter pace of life and stuff, but, like, I'm so used to it being, like, 9 o'clock at night. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's good. I remember when he worked in retail, and I hated the longer hours um, and him not getting home till, like, 6 o'clock. But, so I much prefer that, obviously, to 9 o'clock. But, yeah. Anyways, things have been better. Um, yeah, things have been better. Looking forward to the new year. I was doing really good with my affirmations that I made up that I shared with you last time. Um, haven't been so good with saying those the last couple of days. In the morning and the night. Hey, I actually just think that I'm noticing that. And that's why. You know, I haven't had as good of a day today or yesterday. Um, anyways, uh, I don't really think I have anything else new to tell you. I am thinking about asking my friend who is a widower uh, and has been a widower for eight years. Um or seven, eight years, yeah, um, whether or not I start hanging out with his daughter a little bit more, like maybe once a month, or once a fortnight, kind of being like a big sister type role model, um, I just am not so sure how to, um, broach the subject with him, I definitely know that he needs a break and he would appreciate it, but I've kind of lost that relationship with the little girl that I once had um, due to, I think in part, um, him choosing to be friends more with the ex, which is fine. Um, but yeah, it's made it so that I haven't stayed in contact as well. And obviously with COVID and stuff. Um, yeah, so I am really thinking that I might want to impart with her. I spent Christmas Day with her for a few hours. And she's just the sweetest little girl. Like, she, she just cried at all her gifts. Like, really emotional. And she's nine. And she's not super emotional little girl. Um, and she, yeah, you just felt for her. I felt like she could feel, one, that her aunts and uncles are all a little bit more wealthier than her dad. And um, I also felt like she could feel that everyone had moms and dads and she only has a dad. Um, um, but she also knew how much like she got a pack of markers that was thirty dollars um that had every marker that she could want that had a um could make a straight line and a thick line and I guess all her friends have them at school and she opened it up and she burst into tears saying this is what all her friends have school that she likes to borrow and she just like ran up to Jack and kept giving him such a big hug and like tears roaring down her face like and to the point where he was almost in tears. He was trying, struggling not to. And you could tell that he was cut up, that he couldn't offer her heaps more. You know, he's just, um, he's trying to, he's bought or paying off a tiny home for him and her, which I know was probably bought through a trust, but he's definitely not a handout boy. So he'd be trying to pay that off. Um, so that he could have a home for him himself. And he, uh, yeah, he's, he's such a cool guy. He said, um, I asked him how Sophie was or how him and Sophie were. And he had said that they were doing really good. And he just loved, like, spending time with her. And, um, like, all the cool conversations that they were having. And she was teaching him so much and he hoped that he could teach her just as much and like you just don't hear people speak about their children that way and it's just 
I don't know, maybe because I can't have my own children and you see so many people that are not the best with their children. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, means a lot. And yeah, I definitely have always known that Sophia was a little girl that I really treasured um, and really um, want to embark on. Um, I've actually got little Christmas ornaments that I might have said in here before, but I'm not sure that I want to give her when she's 10. I also need to broach that with her dad um, that him and Sophie's mom gave me, um, I think the year before she was born or the, or two years before she was born. Um, and I've just been really feeling for the last two or three years that those Christmas ornaments, as much as I love them, because I love Christmas ornaments, um, that they actually truly do belong to Soph and not me. And I've just got an inkling that I should be giving them to her. Um, and quite happily would love for her to have them um, as something special that her mom gave me. Um, yeah. So anyways, yeah. Rough day today, but, um, you know, memories came up that four years ago today, I was in Disney and becoming Belle and met Mickey Mouse. So <laughs> that was quite cool. That's a cool memory. Um, and going to Hopperton, even though it was with him, um, love Topperton, really want to go again, um, yeah, anyways, just been tired, tired, glad it's the weekend, um, yeah, been watching Gin Ginny and Georgia, um, yeah, so I've been, been watching that, and yeah, I am going to go to bed, so, that is how things are going with me. I will have my first counseling session in probably about a month this Thursday and then next Thursday I actually have my psychology appointment. So yeah, I have been up in the air. I have been stalking the eggs on Instagram or waiting to see if he posts. It's such a bad habit, but I don't know how to get out of it. Um, yeah, I try not to do it too much, but don't think he's in Auckland anymore. Definitely was in Auckland like around New Year's or so because um, he posted something and did wonder if he was with my nephew the other day when I messaged him because normally he would call me back and he didn't he just text and he's not a real texter he's actually back in the days he actually would rather have a conversation with you than a text it's really refreshing um uh yeah so don't know but don't want to read it too much into it it is what it is Anyways, that is me being real and letting you know what is going on. But yeah, I am trying to say my affirmation. Again, I can remind you it is, let me see if I can do it off the top of my head because I've said it so many times. Um, I will find love. I will find peace. I will continue to feel God in the wind, the sunset, the sunrise, the rainbow, and everywhere in between. I am starting a new chapter, or my new chapter starts now, whichever one I want to say. Um, I will live in the moment, and I will enjoy every moment. And that's probably tougher for me to say, um, but I am happy, I am content. Well, it's not content, but content always seems to come out, so content needs to probably go in there. I am confident. I am beautiful. I am courageous. I can do all things through God who strengthens me. My story is not over. It is just the beginning. And with that, I say good night.